My name is Dariusz Kominiak. I'm working at Edlunio University of Technology, uh, representing Work Package 5 Robotics in Mine. And currently, we are developing the drones for mine applications, which can fly completely autonomously in the mine environment. Before SIMS project, my group was working uh, with autonomous uh, wind turbine inspection, where we were deploying drones to inspect the wind turbines. Currently, we are sending our drones to the mine with way more challenging environment and way more harsh conditions. We were performing field trials at Bolidens mine, where we could evaluate our platforms and algorithms in a true environment. And that gave us a lot of experience and uh, inspiration for future development. We will do the flight test. Yeah, and we will go as far as possible. While designing our platforms, we have to have some uh, uh, parameters, main parameters in our mind. For example, the drones, we are treating them as a consumables. So we focusing to keep the cost of the platform low, which uh, reduce the quality of the sensors, but push forward the algorithms, which can utilize the data out of the low-cost sensors and be reliable. Our drones has to be equipped with specific sensors to navigate through the tunnels and has to be robust for the dust and water damage which can be created under the ground. Also, the platform has to be equipped with extra light sources since in the mine there is lack of natural light. The main problem is that you don't know where you are. So, and this is unknown environment for the drone, so we don't know actually where we are. And uh, we try to find a way and explore the area based on, with the drones. And actually it's a harsh environment because it's dark and windy and sometimes high humidity. So that's what we try to overcome these challenges actually with these experiments. Drones can fly in the area where we don't want to send humans. For example, directly after blasting or after some accidents. Today we have done field trials with autonomous drones in the Christine Berry mine. And we were flying completely autonomously along the tunnels where the drone was navigating completely by itself in unknown environment. At the current moment, we are over halfway in the project. In the future, we will focus on the shafts, which can be more challenging. At the current stage, our drones are collecting the data and storing them on board. But while we will get the connectivity like LTE or 5G, it can be streamed online to the center server and can be processed right away. I believe that our technology can make the mine environment much safer than it is now and can provide big value for all people working in the mines.